Always. So this is Inscription. Daniel Mullins, I believe, made Pony Island, which I played, and it was amazing, and it was not what you think okay. based on the name. Time to figure out what's on this thing. And I did play an early version of this, and it was fucking great. So this appears to be something perfect for the uh, Halloween season. Huh? That's weird. Why can't I do a new game? Oh, the, okay, like cards. I'll do screen shake until it annoys the chat. I guess we're good for now. Yeah. I guess this this is fine. We'll just go with the default. I'll, I'll click on continue, I guess. I don't know why there's no new game. Another challenger. It has been ages. Perhaps you've forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. Oh great, now people are going to be playing card games in the playground. Play the squirrel card. Now play your stoat. Stoats cost one blood. Sacrifices must be made. An honorable death. Play the stoat. Wolves require two sacrifices. You don't have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn and commence combat. Your stoat stands unstopped. The number on the bottom left is its attack power. One. Your stoat dealt one damage. I added it to the scale. You win if you tip my side all the way down. Like this. Oh, look at that crusty hand. My turn. Your stoat stands in the way of my coyote. My coyote dealt two damage to your stoat. That means your stoat's health is less than two. Or is two less, sorry. If a creature's health reaches zero, it dies. It's your turn again. You may draw from your deck, or you may draw a squirrel. What do you mean, a squirrel? How dull. Why'd I draw a squirrel? I regret this. Your wolf demands two sacrifices. Huh, hey, stop. Fear not, the beast is sacrificed, but not removed from your deck. Its suffering was real, but you will see it again. That's why. Because I, I needed the wolf. I see. Ooh! Because you were learning, I will pass. Again, the choice, a random card from your deck, or the certainty of a squirrel. Turt. There's a turt here. You were lacking sacrifices for that creature. It costs two blood. But what is it? I, I need its stats. Oh, okay. It's got six health, one attack. I see. Touch with the ground. I sound. I'm on the hunt. I'm after you. Three damage dealt. Three weights on the scale. Pass. I'll put the squirrel down. It's a, a squirrel. Let's put the squirrel down. I can put another wolf down, or I can put the snapper down, but I have to sacrifice the wolf. Or I could just attack. That seems like a good move. You've won this match. 
they won't all be so easy. Let me recall your story. Oh yes. You were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. Two denizens of the forest approached you tentatively. The undying cat sacrificing the poor beast does not kill it. Because it has nine lives? When a card bearing the sigil is sacrificed, it does not perish. The caustic adder. Damage from its poison bite is always lethal. Only one may grace your paltry deck. Oh man, um... Take the cat. Another creature joins your caravan. Some of the creatures of the forest seemed willing to follow you. You came across an abandoned sack. You found a squirrel in a bottle, break in case of emergency. And have a second. Another useful implement. I'll allow you to tip the scales with it. <laughs> Three is as much as you can carry. Those are my items, I guess? This is interesting. You were ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. You sacrificed me while I was sleeping. It was the right play. I get it. Maybe. You'll help me? Play along for now. You may now see my moves ahead of time. Stop. Stumpy. You were lacking sacrifices for that cat, but you do have a squirrel. The squirrel has died. To, to save us, to help us. I'm gonna put down a stoat as well. Because we can sacrifice the cat, but the cat lives. And then I can put a river snapper down with the sacrifice of those two. And now we have a river snapper going down this lane. The squirrel died for our sins. Dominus windost, Doritos curanchondost. Mind the ambitious wolf cub, it ages swiftly. Now we have a boulder in the way of, of us taking damage, but I'm gonna draw. There's a, a wolf here, but I need a squirrel to play it, so I'm not gonna be able to put this down. You ignored the stout? Oh no, the poor stout. The airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. Oof. My bat flew right over your river snapper. That's... Not good. I will put the squirrel down. And then I will... Sacrifice the squirrel. And put down the wolf. The wolf is going to have to attack the stump. Alright. Okay. Okay, now we have a problem. We got a problem, everybody. Hear me out. I have another wolf. I have to sacrifice this wolf to do combat with this wolf. It has to be done. Use the squirrel potion. Not yet! You had a river snapper to kill. Can you move your cards? Wait, 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 wait. I thought they have to face each other to do combat. Is that... Not how this works? I'll learn. They do. You can't move the cards and they do have to face each other. You prevailed and trekked onwards past the now bloodied terrain. If nothing opposes them, they attack directly. This is pretty fucking cool. The vibe of the game is just as effective as the card game itself. 
wolf cub. The young wolf cub, it grows into a wolf after a single turn. Or the sparrow. The meek sparrow. An inexpensive, if feeble, flying creature. I, I like bird a lot. I like birds. Might be nice to have a, a bird. You stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. You were compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that will be lost forever. Why? Um. Say goodbye, bird. Pick me. I don't understand what's happening. What an honor. Ghastly spectacle, but the soul of the sparrow now lives in the stoat. The stoat can fly. The sparrow had to die so the stoat could fly. They fly now. Behold my totem. It inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigil. It's completely insane, you see that, right? No care for the rules. Pathetic, really. Enough. Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. Back on the board. There you go. Why does the stoat talk so much? Bad order? Oh yeah, you're right. That was bad order. Totem has granted my coyote the power of flight. Oh my god. Um... Hmm. I'm probably dead. No, I did a little bit of- I probably will- Yeah, that's it. That's the end of this match. You've lost. Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Fetch the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. Huh? Oh. Oh god, it's like Grimrock. Bring it here. I want that, too. Give me the knife. Give me the knife. I love all this stuff. Whoa, does this become a dungeon crawler? I mean, it kind of already did, but... Alright, here you go. You need this. Alright, fine, you need this. Now sit back down. There's gonna be puzzles here. Let me explain something to you. That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Now, where were we? Scheiss. Porcupine. The ornery porcupine. Sharp quills await those who dare attack it. There's a sparrow again. The monstrous grizzly. Its form speaks enough of its efficacy. Grizzly is pogging. Uh, 
I'm having difficulty choosing. Um, flip a three sided coin. All right, grizzly it is. Campfire or a boss? What is what's this one? Or is this a totem? The cat must be sacrificed. But the cat can become I can use the river snapper to have the infinite lives. The turtle makes sense because it can also tank. Rip cat. Not infinite lives, but infinite sacrifice, I mean. Let's see if that cunning plan is gonna work out. There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Be silent or I will tear you to shreds. I need to, uh... So I'm gonna hold off. I'm not gonna use that bottle of emergency. Oh god, I need to use the bottle. The emergency bottle now. Holy shit. <laughs> Fuck. Snapper will live. Now I'm, I'm wondering, I can do the stoat as well. Over here. Yes, I'm sure. You're good. Okay. Snapper will survive one more turn. Do I draw or do I squirrel? Because I could squirrel and then put a wolf on this lane. will do some damage for me. Tipping the scales now. That grizzly is still a little bit frightening, however. There's my grizzly, which I cannot sacrifice. I need a squirrel, and then I can get a grizzly. Stall with squirrel? Yeah. Yeah. Or I can just grizzly it up. Or I could just win the match. I kind of didn't need to use the bottle, the squirrel bottle. That kind of sucks. Yeah. Yeah. We get the Proud Wolf, a vicious contender. We get a raven, conniving raven, a blight upon the skies. Elk. It moves after attacking. Have you ever had elk meat? Hmm. I haven't. What do I do here? Let me think about this for a second, because they're all twos. The elk could be interesting. What sound does an elk mate make? I think it goes... Bah! Something like that. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll get up. So what is this icon? A 
gust from this may lift your creatures into the air, if only for a turn. A rock may get you out of a hard place. What, what did I just choose? Wait, what is- what is these things again? What are the pliers? I meant to just see what it was. It tips the scales. You can tip the scales with those. Oh, it's a heel. Alright, well that's fine then. Oh, cool. The trees seem to close in around you as, as a chill mist descended. In the distance, you could hear the clinking of metal st on stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. Where's the prospector? <laughs> He's doing the prospector again. Easy boss. The mule's key. Pack mule. At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed. down there. You're getting backseated by a ferret. <laughs> we get the stoat. Okay, that sucks a little bit. I could heal that if I needed to. Um... I thought I had the turtle. Limes is watching out for you. Limes is here? Still? Hey, Limes, if you're still here. Oh, no. Oh, because the ferret. I getcha. I getcha. So... We could, we could wolf it up. Stoat, not ferret. Draw for cat or turt. Well, I don't have cat. Turt is quirt. <laughs> Draw and hope for turtle. You're gonna have to tank some damage, buddy boy. That turt. Well, we got the elk. I was told to go for the pack mule. didn't show up. Not now, draw a card first. Um... I didn't think he would really do it. Oh my god! <laughs> uh. Yeah, and I'm going to the dentist later, so that's nice. I 
have to squirrel stall. The pack mule will be dead after this. What is this? Oh, look at that. Oh, that's the uh, dang name of my mule. Oh, fuck. Oh, man. No, no, no. Oh, that was the meme hands. Just when I got a bunch of cards, I should have used that last fucking... Pliers. Wolf did three damage. I, I wasn't even... Yeah. I should have been more aware of the... Wolf. You aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory. Though you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. I would like a memento. Your very own death card. It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We will work together to amend that. I want this to be the perfect memento of you. Here are some cards from your mediocre deck. We can put them to good use. Please choose a card to draw the cost from. Well. Two blood. I will use its power and health. Nice. Grizzly for two Oh, fuck yeah. Choose a card from which we will extract the sigil. What? This is the best card ever. The sigil of many lives from the river snapper. What are we calling this card? The El Nub Nub? What, what should I call the card? Um, the boot card? How about... Glup Shido. There is now but one final matter, the portrait. Are you ready? You do not need to smile. The Glup Shido card is now the best card in the game. Here we go again, another challenger. Perhaps it is time, perhaps you can understand bones. Back to the bones. Resourceful opossum costs two bones. You gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes for any reason. I understand the bones. From the death of your creature, you've gained a bone. You will not lose this until it is spent or until the battle ends. Yeah, that made the most amount of sense. Got more bones. And we got a wolf about to do some nice damage. That's a lot of damage. Halloween trash. I have not Halloween trash, but I have an episode pre-recorded of two and a half hours of me checking out mostly good Halloween games. Just variety. And uh, some little bit of trash, but mostly just really interesting, fun stuff. Good Halloween themed shit. So that'll be over the next couple days. That'll be up. I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. It is beside the safe. Hmm. 
Some what the fuck? Something's in here. So that amazing Glup Shido card, I need that. Mighty Leap card bearing the sigil will block an opposing creature bearing the airborne sigil. Oh, this is like an appendix. Okay. Two, seven, three. Oh, I saw- okay, I'll try that after this. The coyote. Meager coyote, but what did you expect for only four bones? The Nefari's Rattler, brittle creature, once past its monstrous fangs. The unkillable cockroach, it returns to your hand after dying. Do the cockroach. You're free to get up again to keep your blood flowing. I am no tyrant, you may stand whenever the map is unrolled. It allows me time to plan your next encounter, but do keep your hands off of my possessions. The stink bug. Oh, hello. I wasn't sure- I hate these fucking things. I wasn't sure if I would ever escape that iron crypt. It's- Is the stoat around? The stunted wolf? This madness must end. Put that away. The fuck? Yeah, this- this is what I like to call brute force. I don't... Two, one... Oh. But wait, wait, what? What? Three? Huh? Damage and health, then. Damage and health. Oh. Oh, that was easy. The skink. I forgot that I put that there. Very well, you may add it to your deck and I'll deal you one every so often. Well, it actually wants me to, like, play the game, but doing another thing, so that's cool. I'm just gonna brute force it. I get it. I, I get it. No, it's... Uh, I got it. I don't get it. I can't move that one. In this game, you need to deal five damage to the enemy in one round. Best I can do is two damage. This one's stuck. So, learn what the skink does. This, the skank? Bottom cards, Vinny. Oh, it's fine. Some bone tokens for a rainy night. 
Because we have a big bone deck at the moment, so... You again. Indeed, our friend freed me. Well, I basically told them how to do it. You got a plan? We have another friend here. You've got to be... I wouldn't call him friend, but I suppose we are in deep this time. Mighty Leap. Card bearing the sigil will block in the opposing creature bearing the airborne sigil. Stinky. This creature opposing a card bearing the sigil loses one power. Uh-oh. Smells like shit. Total misplay. He's probably right. I could kill the stoat and replace with the bullfrog. That's not good. Back in the game. Okay, we're doing something here. Skink. The skink is lose tail when card bearing the sigil will be struck. A tail is created in its place and a card bearing the sigil moves to the right. Of course. It has no cards left, the uh, game master. Black Goat. Is this uh, Black Philip from the Vivich? The apothecized goat. Truest offering, sacrifice it, grants three blood. That's what's up. That is what's up. There's the elk and glup shell! <laughs> so I gotta get glup. See what a campfire does. Came across a small group of survivors, faces shrunken from starvation. They huddled around a campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm by the fire that it will enhance its power, said another. You notice that the survivor is wiping drool from their mouths. because it's just going to keep coming back. The fire warmed the poor cockroach, enhancing its power. One of the survivors reached toward it. Another gnashed their teeth. Little word, you pulled the cockroach away from the fire and left. Strange vigil. Sigil. Sorry. Oh, it's one of the totems. So strange. Why can't I remember his name? I believe I lost some of my memory. In the flash. Look, there's a third talking card somewhere around here. Personally, I hate the guy. Biggest killjoy ever. But he's the only one of us with a plan to get things back to normal. Oh boy. <sighs> I 
I don't have two bones yet. That was a misplay, yeah. That was a misplay. Alpha? It does zero damage against my stink- my stink lad. Skink. Um... Boulder does damage, Vin. Oh, the boulder does do damage. Oof. Oh, man. I mean, I could only hope. Yeah, I mean, that wasn't too bad. At the very least. I mean, this will just block the wolf for one turn. And my wolf will do some damage in the meantime. Oof. It's glup shitto time. There it is. We got this. Oh, look at that. Look at that glup damage. How brutal of you. You dealt me more damage than you needed to win. However, in my game, such feats are rewarded. To be, to be precise, a tooth to keep for each extra damage dealt. Trapper may be interested in your spoils. Figured it out. Formidable, formidable creatures, those ants. Very well. Ants! I will add them to your deck and make them available for future challengers. More? Well, I don't know how to make the ants work, exactly, so, uh... Welcome to Brute Force. Once again. I could look it up, or I could try to Brute Force it, which is equally fun. Fun. It looks like th them being parallel, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Without having met her, this wood carving is meaningless. In time, you'll understand its power.
strike each opposing space left and right, space across from it. Uh, ant spawner. When a card bearing the sigil is played, an ant is created in your hand. Well, that doesn't, that's cool, but that, that's not going to help me right this moment. Is there a way to, like, see all the cards? Mm. Ants is damage. Damage equals amount of ants. like the one combination I didn't do. Caged Wolf. Curious. Okay. Must make a different kind of choice now. Choose not a specific beast, but decide the cost that you wish to pay. The Meddlesome Bat. A Minor Terror. Random card with a cost of bone. What were you expecting? Uh, I clicked too fast. <laughs> oh, it's one of these. The choice is yours. Um, Sacrifice Glup? Never. That is way too expensive. You might be right. I don't know what the fuck this caged wolf thing is. Could do a flying wolf. Flying ant? That's just a real thing. But for one... For one... Yeah, I'll do a flying ant. Caged Wolf again. To play that card, you'll need to sacrifice two different creatures. It's just six health. There's got to be more to it than that. Though you represent in Sitch will be equal to the number of ants that the owner has on their side of the table. as a barrier. Maybe, uh, yeah, the wolf will, after it takes enough damage, it'll, it'll come out. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, God. Oh, man. That's the yeah, answer creed. I think that's a rip. Yeah, that's a rip. That was just dumb. That was just me being dumb. How disappointing. 
This is so dumb. You were stopped along the way by a trapper looking to liquidate his pelts. There's something uncanny about his appearance, but you were quickly distracted by his wares. Try to look at me pelts. Take a pelt free of charge. See the quality? You'll need more teeth for that one. Wolf pelt. What do they do? You're leaving already? Please consider me pelts. You'll need more teeth for that one. I'll take the, the wolf pelt. And assured you of the value of the pelts. They appear to be useless in a fight. But he mentioned that the trader further down the path would reward you for them. Oh. Defend and can be sold. Boulder. Harpy's burning fan creature will attack as though you have airborne sigil. You immediately will gain four bones. I know you're fond of me pelts. Okay, I'll, I'll get the, uh, the boulder. And, oh, there's another item, and I'll get a squirrel. The incessant clank, clank, clanking reverberated between your ears. The path ahead was blocked by a grotesque, grotesque figure. Here's the slat again. Okay. Oh, we got an early glup. Early glup confirmed. And an early glup we shall have. Sacrifice shit for free. Yeah, you're right. I forgot about that. Should've... Yeah. Alright. Well, Squirrel is fucked. But we'll, we'll save us. We'll help us. There's the Ant Queen. Yeah, snakes can demolish boulders in real life, too. Dang, nabbit. Oh, well, I got the bounty. Squirrel, wolf, cub, rat king. And a coyote. Well, I would have put down the damn ant queen. Got some rats. Get ahead of yourself, you need to draw a card first. That was a pretty good turn, I would say. Oh, I hope you didn't think it would be that easy. There's gold in them cards. Oh my god. Glup is dead. I've struck gold. What did you do to my, my cards? You're out of space, there's no room for that card. Well, that's shit-o. 
Can you sacrifice the gold? No, I can't do anything. Prospector boss again. You got the stoat. Keep me alive. Uh, no promises. Stout. It's rat time. <laughs> Pelt for blocking. I kind of want to save the pelt. Throw a boulder there, though. For what? Oh, there's not more after this? It looked like there would have been. It was like Slay the Spire, where you have different acts that you just go through at the same- like, all at once, you know? Poison a boulder, yeah? In one hit, too. Okay, well now we have... actual wolf. Fuck you, Prospector. Allow me to light your candles once more. I won't be killing you quite yet. You see what I mean? Like, yeah, there, there might be more. You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you're granted an opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. I, all I need is Glup Shido. Sorry. The Yor Yoriuli level of brutish strength needs no explanation. Strange larva. A largely unimpressive specimen. Gek. The uninspiring Gek. Perhaps you can find a use for it? Um... Get the larva, that's what I'm thinking. The Gek has no cost. Um... Larva mutates. Oh man, this is tough. Larva. Gek, maybe later. The sound of the prospector's pick still pickaxe still ringing in your ears. You carried onwards. Hmm. Yeah, there's more. Rank smell of rotten mold permeated the humid air. Every step forward was answered by some nearby slip or slither. You tread cautiously into the wetlands. So, where's the pelter? I gotta figure out which one of these represents the pelt. But also, there's a mystery card, or is it? I don't get it. And we'll go to the X. Oh, it's the bear trap. So, bones or... Mm. Two blood. It's another wolf. Alright. Came 
across a familiar stones, some familiar stones, but there's something different. You intuited that the fate of the creature selected for this would not be pleasant. You callously slaughtered the wolf. However, the Bone Lord was pleased by your sacrifice. Minor boon of the Bone Lord, you will start each battle with one extra bone. The Bone Lord! You shook off the viscera of the poor wolf and carried onwards. Snick. So, sharp quills, once a card bearing the sigil is struck, the striker is then dealt a single point of damage. Early glup is always good. But yeah, now all of these things have... Spike. save us. Oof. Ooh. I was hoping that would be a bone boy. Oh, right, you can sacrifice with Glup. I, I, every time, I forget. Every fucking time. <laughs> yeah, you're good, Stoat. You're good. I should've did the Rattler. What are we doing? We throw a bullfrog there. No problem. No problem. Rip Glup. <laughs> Fucking pelts. I was hoping that would be enough to win. Not quite. Strange larva. Vinny, why aren't you playing Exodia? Um, what is Exodia? What are you- why are you spamming the word Exodia? Like, I know what it means. <laughs> You're not supposed to attack- the Forbidden one? Is it Yu-Gi-Oh meme? I thought it was a game that came out that people were like, you need to play this. Okay, Larva has spawned into Strange Pupa hero. I was really hoping to get a bone creature of some kind. Exodia wins you the game when you have all five pieces in your hand. Is it the monster? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is it the thing with the five that makes the face and the, the, the person? I got it. I got it. I thought it was a game. I thought it was an unrelated thing entirely, but... That's a problem. But we do have now... The Mothman. The Mothman with seven damage, everybody. I'm gonna squirrel block. and win. Just gonna... I win now. Nice. Nice. Yeah, Larva was a good choice. You encountered a small outpost in the woods tended by a mysterious woman. It was the traitor. 
Steel Trapper mentioned. Her appearance was unsettling, but you were mollified by her offerings. Do you mind if I examine those pelts of yours? Let's start with your hair pelt. Here's what I can offer. I can trade you any of these. Take your time. Um... I wouldn't mind more bone things. A uh, new cat just dropped, though, I guess. The beaver, when a card bearing sigil is played, a dam is created each empty adjacent space. Mm. I'll do the cat. That's no problem. And a wolf pelt, too. Oh, now we get some upgraded cards. There's a mole here. A card. So this also does not perish. It just blocks, basically. But we also got a turkey vulture that spawns an ant? Oh god. Then there's a mantis that can attack in two different directions. A coyote that spawns an ant as well. And a grizzly that spawns an ant. I need more bone things. I could get a flying opossum. Possum. How much does the mantis cost? I can't tell. Is that blood? One blood for mantis. The adder is good, but it's also too. Vulture is big bone. Mantis is double damaged. Double damage if unblocked. Very easy. I'm gonna get the turkey vulture. The to the tulky vulture. Because I had so many bones before. Here's item. power of card. <laughs> I kind of want to have the cat attack. That would be a little bit weird, but it would be something. I was going to, maybe the larva. Well, cat's going to be on the board a lot. So you know what? How do I... How do I get back from this? <laughs> Attack cat. Why not? <laughs> Greetings. Oh, it's me. <laughs> a negative stoat. What are these bees? Let's hope we get a cat there. Sorry, Stoat. Gotta go. Oh, shit. We got a mantis, but it can't do any damage because the stink bug is here. Bullfrog. Uh, 
man. Um, if only I had that cat. Still going. Just get rid of the squirrel, put the bullfrog here, that'll block the bee, and we have a turn. Why do we get a bee? Did I neglect to mention overkill damage? Excess damage is not wasted. Carries over to the card behind the mangled corpse of the victim. Lucky for you. Oh. I wanna- oh, okay. There we go. Okay. It's this again. Most exquisite of pelts. Can I not afford... I want that golden pelt. I'll take it. Thank you, Muchfords. Uh, so we can do... I think it's probably in our best interest to get items. If you deem necessary, you may cut up one of my cards with these. You do the bone bank. Okay, now we have items. Rabbit pelt again. That's the one problem with the pelts, is now they just take up extra card slots. Which is one of my many names. Fucking Kingfisher? Ooh, Kingfishers. Oh, okay, then it... Okay, now it's not active for a turn. Fisher's back. It's a little uh, dangerous move there, everybody. A little danger. The cat has arrived. But I can't set it yet. I thought that they were. Wait, no. Caged wolf. Fucking caged wolf. Can't really do anything with this. Hmm. Use the wolf. I'm still getting a net positive. Yeah, but that poor cat is gonna get destroyed. Oh wait, no, cat's still alive. Hell yeah, attack cat. Okay, now we have a problem because my my wolf is now gone. Salutations. Oh, finally, something. Something that can use the bones.
Oh, this is crazy. Golden pelt. I see the way this is going. I concede. You may accept my surrender or you may finish this, this match the slow way. I accept. <laughs> I accept. I guess the math was just that it would have taken a while. The tragic Rat King, when their tangled bodies become corpses, you will gain four bones. Rattler and the Bat. I'm gonna go for the Rat... Rattler, because again, bones. Which one is this again? Is this the upgrade the card by sacrificing another card? My dentist appointment is in two hours. I'm good. I was just gonna cook. Upgrade by sacrifice. Well, this deck is already huge, so it might be a good idea to do exactly this. Um... I could sacrifice the cat. And give it to... No. Larva Sigil? I don't know if it makes it into the Mothman, though. Turn Larva into Return to Hand? I don't know if they stack. They do? Okay, so what do we do here then? Give cats ability to free cards so you get see free sacrifices. I don't have a free card. <laughs> Cockroach the larva. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I cannot. Larva does not show up. Why doesn't it show up, though? That's weird. It does? It's blind. It, you're blind. It's right there. What? Oh. Very silly. I cockroached the larva. I grappled the leaper. Hopefully we get a good draw. The boss battles are high stakes tests of your aptitude. With one flame you'll either overcome them or die. Fear not, I will let you keep the smoke. Foul smell invaded your nostrils and caused your throat to seize. A hulking man sat by a brackish pond with his feet submerged in the dark water, pulled a hook from the pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. I am the angler. Go fish. The angler. Mind his hook. Play as a squirrel or so play a squirrel or something when he aims it. That will protect your best cards. Lucky draw. I, I wouldn't exactly say that. Bone kit when the card decision dies. Four bones are awarded instead of one. That was already a misplay, kind of. Not really. A little bit, but not too bad. Stoat will live. It will kill the Kingfisher. Oh man, it's gonna get hooked. Should I just sacrifice it now? Well, actually, no, it needs to... It, it'll do damage to me if it uses its hook.
switches to Squirrel. Vinny, the game is too loud. Alright, hang on. You're right, it is a little loud. Let me just get that down a bit. Vinny, play the squirrel. Pressure fish, easy choose. Oh. Now go fish. Oh. Why is the stoat not dying? Still fish hard choose. I'm okay with that, but airborne. Oh right, 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 right. Well, we're attacking like directly past them. This caged wolf then is useless. Rabbit pelt. Speaking of useless. God damn it. Stalemate again until I get something that can use bones. Skink. I can't sacrifice any of, uh, So I'm wondering if this would be better than the stink bug, because... Oh, no, not really. The wolf is not doing anything. I can't even sacrifice the wolf. It wouldn't let me. There we go. You'll need more bones to play the Rattler. Oh, man! I, I had to kill the stoat. Gotcha. Go fish. What have you done? Bait bucket. Turkey vulture. Oh, man, I don't have the bones for that. Fuck. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh my god. Glup. But I can't summon Glup yet. Well, now you have the bones. I don't have eight bones. Use pelts as shield. Scissors are gone. How many do I have? One, two, three, four. Five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven.
There we go. Oh, got it! And it only cost all of my golden... My golden pelt. Let me relight your candles. Very well. You may choose a rare card. The pelts are not gone. Wait, they don't... Really? They don't go? Oh. Strange larva again. Pack rat. Never doubt the utility of a well-stocked pack. What card bearing the sigil is played? You will receive a random item as long as you have less than three items. Get the rat. I think now may be a good time for me to get going. Consider one of the angler catches as a meal, but the rank odor deterred you. Dinner would have to wait. Let me see. Frigid gust of wind billowed unwelcome into your lungs. The beauty of the falling snow failed to distract you from the chill in your bones. You had ascended to the snow line. Well, snow, thank you. I have to go. Okay, well, this game is really good, and I wasn't even planning on streaming it today. I was going to do a pre-recorded if I had the time to do so, but I did. New teeth just dropped. Last saved one minute ago. Alright, yeah, this game is very good. Uh, I even know how to um, exit the game now. Alright, thanks everybody for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you for the continued support. Um, this is a lot of people for 4pm. It's just a lot of people, period. So I'm, I'm happy to have been able to stream. It was good. Metroid was good. This game was good. I'll eventually play more of it because it's actually fucking amazing but like i said i have a lot of other games i want to get to so i'm going to try my best to do as many halloween things as i can before halloween uh have a good day thank you very very much it's not lost on me how kind some of you are to me and how understanding some of you are appreciate it so see you when i see you um and take care of yourselves and you know look forward to more of my pre-recorded stuff too including some good Halloween games, and Castlevania. Goodbye for now. And, uh, I don't know who else is streaming. I don't need- does auto-host still work, chat, before I go? Because I heard that Twitch was killing auto-host. Does it, is it still- does it still work? It does? Not really? No? Oh. Well, I- you have to host manually. What- that's a shame. Well, if uh, no one's up next, just check out my mods. Um, raid Limes. I'm just going to host Limes because I still don't know how to raid properly. I always fuck it up. So, all right. Goodbye for now. Rasputin mind control dick trick. <laughs>